everybody, welcome back to the video. I'm Football for Gaming here, and today we're playing some more Pokemon Kingdom. So, today, I'm actually, well, we're, we're, we're doing some more Dark Mode because, of course, we are. That's like all we have to do at this point. Um, well, that's not true. But today, I'm doing a bit of theorizing. So, I want to talk about, um, well, I kind of want to talk about. What was it? Right! Dark Enchantress Cookie and. White Lily Cookie. They have an interesting story, and um, I want to talk about it because I feel like it'll be fun. Let's shove in Kumho. Okay, this is a loadout. It's going to be way too easy for this stage, but whatever. That's the point. Random loadouts make it slightly more interesting. But yeah, we're talking about um, the connection and the story and that weird stuff because it's a little bit confusing. I'm not going to lie. They give us a lot of information about them, but it doesn't really help. So... In case this isn't apparently obvious, there's going to be spoilers for up to the end of episode 8 of Cookie Run Kingdom. Normal mode, I, I, I guess dark mode, it's not that different, but just in case, I'm saying that. So, I will clarify, I do not know information from post 9 and 10, and I also don't know all the information in dark mode. Maybe give some more information on this, so I'm letting you know that in advance. If I mess something up because of that, sorry, but I don't think I have. Um... So I'm going to be covering a couple different theories and possibilities for what's happening between the two characters. Um, given a little bit of reasoning about why it could be true and also why it might not be. Um, and I'm going to save my personal favorite for last because I feel like it's, I don't know, well it's my favorite so obviously I feel like it's the best. But um, So the first one we're going to, first some quick backstory. So basically when you start the game, um, Pure Vanilla Cookie, White Lily Cookie, and... Um, the other three, I think like Golden Cheese, a weird dark chocolate light cookie, and someone else. Um, but the other three aren't important. Oh, fighting Dark Enchantress Cookie, and in the end, Pure Vanilla Cookie sacrifices himself to stop, seal away Dark Enchantress Cookie. Um, and we learn throughout the game that the only one left is White Lily Cookie. Everyone else is dead, or something weird's happened to them, alternate dimensions, I guess. With the current update, it's seeming to suggest that White Lily Cookie is in some, like, void realm, but that's not that important to this. Um, but White Lily Cookie's still around, which is a little bit odd, except... Oh, wait, she has no memories, and, um, she doesn't do anything. In the sense that we never see her interact with anything. She's weird memory flashes, she looks kind of like a ghost in spirit, and, well, I mean, she just has a weird haze around her, which is a little odd. I don't know, I've, there are a couple like, clips that I've seen and it's just like her staring like the mirror scene, I think that's in episode 6 or 7, I think it's 7, when she's looking into the mirror, it's just a weird effect that they give around her, which definitely suggests that there's something odd about her. And well, in episode 8, the end, for the finale, at least what was the finale of the game, um, a little bit of interesting information is revealed. It is revealed that, well, um... Well, it's not really revealed anything necessarily, so what happens is, in case, just a quick reminder, I'm sure all of you know, but quick reminder, in case you don't remember, is you find out the White Lily Cookie was experimenting with dark moon magic in order to try to make cookies stronger, to keep weak cookies from dying. Pretty notable task, except in my mind I hear keep people from dying and magic and I think horcruxes. Maybe that's just me, but that's the first thing that comes to my mind. Um, but yeah, basically that's, she's like, oh, I did a horrible thing. It's not exactly explained how, we have no idea how this happens, but she ends up trapped inside a moonstone, a dark moonstone. Um, and she tells you to break it to end her suffering. Gingerbrave says no, but then proceeds to smash the crystal. Gingerbrave's actions are very strange. He's like, no, I won't. You ha you can be redeemed. You can be saved. Your actions are in the past. You can redeem yourself. Except then he smashes the crystal anyways, and um, then it gets weird. White Lily Cookie's gone. White, look White Lily Cookie is not who comes out of that crystal. Who comes out of the crystal is Dark Enchantress Cookie, all in her full might and glory. And, well... That's all the information we get. So far, that's all the guaranteed stuff we have. But there's quite a bit of theorizing we can do. So the first thing, I'm going to say this, because this is the first thing that comes to most people's mind. It's the obvious one, but it also is the one that I think probably has the most <laughs> plot holes to it. So basically, the idea is, 
White Lily Cookie is Dark Enchantress Cookie. That's the obvious conclusion. Dark Enchantress Cookie. So there's White Lily Cookie. She's trapped. You break the cage, and Dark Enchantress Cookie comes out. Obviously, it must be that it must mean that White Lily Cookie is Dark Enchantress Cookie. Except it, it kind of doesn't because, as I mentioned earlier at the beginning, White Lily Cookie and Dark Enchantress Cookie are in the same place at the same time with other witnesses. Which doesn't make a lot of sense at all, because, well, if they're in the same place, then they can't be the same person. Except, then at the same time, like, that's a pretty big plot hole, honestly. Like, they're in the same place, that doesn't make a lot of sense. But then again, the location that they were in the same place may or may not have been this void realm, which, for all we know, has very weird, like, Maybe it's time travel, maybe it's like wormholes. I mean, they're in a floating random kingdom in an alternate dimension. It's not that far of a stretch for it to be, well, maybe they're fighting a like future version of her, or maybe they rescued a past version of her to try to prevent this. Like, for all we know, the original goal was, hey, we're gonna go back in time, save White Lily Cookie, so she'll never become Dark Enchantress Cookie, and then it'll all be fine, but instead, Dark Enchantress Cookie ruins their plans. Like, who knows? It's almost impossible to know. A part of this is going on to this, because I'm continuing on with this, I want to give it- I want to give it a shot. My take on this, that could fix potentially some of the solutions without it being time travel, which I do think would be cool, but I don't really see that being the case, though honestly, I have no idea. Um, is the possibility that, well, White Lily Cookie was not with us this whole time. White Lily Cookie was not there, and what was actually happening was Dark Enchantress Cookie tricking us. So, here's my take on this, to give this theory a little more credibility. Basically, Dark Enchantress Cookie. She was trapped inside the Dark Moonstone when Pure Vanilla sealed her away. Um, and in the process, so she was trapped in there. When we find the stone, she makes herself look like White Lily Cookie, like her past self, to make her feel, to make us, well, save her, basically. Free her from the stone, set her free. Um, this is, by the way, one more thing to support this is, the Dark Enchantress Cookie says, I finally destroyed that part of my past, which doesn't necessarily mean it is her, but the descriptive words sort of suggest something similar. But anyway, so my idea is, Dark Enchantress Cookie, she's in the stone, she's tricking us, and all of the times we've seen White Lily Cookie, those visions, are actu it actually is Dark Enchantress Cookie. She's just tricking us. She's creating, like, almost like a clone or spirit. Or maybe it's Pomegranate Cookie doing it, casting the spell. Because it's a pretty interesting thing. I haven't gone into too much detail into Dark Power. But the evil characters are trying to bring back Dark Enchantress Cookie, but in White Way. They're obviously casting spells. They're leading us somewhere. But what if... What's actually happening is that the only way Dark Enchantress Cookie can be freed is by a light cookie, perhaps a descendant of Pure Vanilla Cookie. And who's the only descendant left of Pure Vanilla Cookie? Really? I want stamina jelly already? Okay, I have to mark more of these somewhere. Collect. Really? No stamina jelly. Um. Okay, I guess I'm gonna look for stamina jelly quickly. Um. Here we go. Okay, Stamina Jelly missions don't give us Stamina Jelly. Do you give us Stamina Jelly? No, but ooh, we actually have a Dark Mode story. Okay, I'm quickly gonna take a break from Theorizing to watch this. Maybe it'll have some information. Pomegranate Cookie, what are you doing here? Such impudence, as always. Did you think I would not learn of your duplicity? You failed to plant the gem. That is the problem with your sorcery. One misstep and everything falls apart. I do not rely on such magic. Therefore, I am not weak. How arrogant. You are in no position to lecture me. Just advise. I will no longer tolerate you acting on your own. You will submit to being just a minion. Oh, but I wonder, do you still truly think you are a noble prince, some grand hero on a quest for his kingdom? In case you didn't know, this is the son of one of the original five. What? How dare you? Act with caution, Dark Chakri. If you impede the master's plans, I will see that you answer for your transgression. Now that I've made myself clear, complete your task. Get it done. Interesting. Also, um, um, yeah, I'm just spending gems. I don't really care. It's 90 gems. It sucks. Wait, it adds 
30 stamina jellies? That's literally two battles. Uh, fine. Content, I guess. That, that bothers me. But anyways, going back to our story, a little adventure thing, theorizing. That only Pio, or that only a descendant of Pio Vanilla Cookie, Custer Cookie the Third, can free Dark Enchantress Cookie from her prison. And the whole time, the evil cookies are using White Lily Cookie, potentially through a spell that Pomegranate Cookie's doing, or Dark Enchantress, and also leading us in the right direction, bringing us closer and closer towards the, um, the Moonstone. Because an interesting thing is, as we sort of just witnessed there, Dark Chocolate Cookie is sort of a good guy. He's the son of one of the good people, and he's sort of trying to help us, sort of. It's a little weird, he's an interesting character. He'd be a cool one to do, like, a diagnostic type thing on. Um, but he is sort of helping us, and one thing he does when you fight him is he tells you to go away. He tells you to stop coming this way. Obviously, it might it's just like, oh, he's like, don't fight me, it's a mistake, or whatever, I'm too powerful for you. But what if he's actually saying that doing this is a mistake? They're tricking you. We're tricking you. I don't know, it's a possibility. Um... But yeah, that's sort of my take on this. I think it would be cool. I think it's a cool thing to think about. The only issue still is what's happening with the White Lily Cookie in the past. That, I don't really have an explanation for you. When she's confronting Dark Enchantress Cookie, that is the only thing that I don't really have an answer for. My only real answer is time travel or something like that, but I don't really know. That's, yeah, that's the little plot hole still. I don't really have a solution for that. Let me know if you do, but on to the next theory. So the next theory is that, actually, no, I'm just going to go into my favorite. There might be some more later, but I don't know. We're taking a little while, so I'm going to move on to mine. And that is, which I like quite a bit. So if you don't know, or whatever, I'm just going to recount this anyways. In episode 7, the teachers at the Blueberry Yogurt Academy, the weird spirit thing, say that when Dark Moonstone Magic was used, they were corrupted and turned into what they were. That they were able to seal away the dark spirits, but they became a dark spirit themselves. What if the same thing happened to White Lily Cookie? So White Lily Cookie has admitted that she's experimenting with dark moon magic. She did that. Assuming that's true, which I'm going to just assume that's true. I guess it could have been a lie or whatever, but let's just say that's the case. If that is the case, wouldn't she also be turned into a dark spirit? And what if the only reason that there's still a fragment of White Lily Cookie left is because the most powerful healer and cookie person in the world is her best friend, Pure Vanilla Cookie. What if he saved her from being completely turned into a dark spirit? He split her in half. Because, here's the thing, the teachers still have their memories, their will, they can still control their actions, but they look like a dark spirit. What if Pure Vanilla Cookie separated that? He took the will the mind, like, the spirit of White Lily Cookie and freed her into a weird, like, spirit-like body. But the evil form, the malice, the dark spirit that was created is still around. It still exists, and it is inside, and it is left behind with Dark Enchantress Cookie. Dark Enchantress Cookie is the dark spirit that was created from using the dark moon magic. White Lily's other half. White Lily is Dark Enchantress Cookie's past. Her weak, useless, emotional, emotion-filled past. That's my personal theory. I think that's probably what happened, truthfully. I think that would be really cool. So basically, go back on this again. White Lily Cookie, even from all the way from the beginning, is a weak spirit. Only the mind of what was left of her. She's still there, but she's not who she used to be. She's a fragment of her original self. And the rest of her, the other fragment, is Dark Enchantress Cookie. She, doing the dark magic, saw, using the dark moon magic, she was corrupted. It's a dark spirit. Her goal is to free all of the dark spirits trapped behind what the dark moon magic, the portal. She wants to free them all, and she is going to make it happen. And she is, but the only thing standing in her way is her past self, Pure Vanilla Cookie, and their friends. So she has to defeat them, but on the way... Pure Vanilla Cookie seals her inside a dark moonstone. White Lily Cookie, in the process, however, is still attacked and injured by Dark Enchantress Cookie. Um, the 160... I hate doing this, but whatever. Content. Um, 
So in the process, White Lily Cookie is the only one who survives. Why? Because she's not human. She's not fully there. She is a spirit. It can't kill a spirit. I guess you could maybe send a spirit to a void realm. I don't know. But that's why she survived. But in the process, she lost more of her memory. She lost even more of herself. So when we find her, her memories are gone. She's even more faded than what she originally remembers. Po it's even possible that the only thing that was keeping her closer to what she originally was, was being near Pier Vanilla Cookie, her friend. He was reminding her of her past self. But now that he's gone, she has no one to hold her down. She is now lost. And as we explore with her, she's regaining those memories slowly but surely. But she, the last thing she remembers is Dark Enchantress Cookie. The dark moon magic filling her, the evil flowing through her blood, or veins, or soul, or whatever. And so she feels that she has to be punished. So she doesn't go inside a stone. She runs away. What if she runs away from everyone? And because of that, Dark Enchantress Cookie sees her opportunity to be freed. Are we good here? Oh, Soul Stones. Three Madeline. Okay, not bad. Episode four. Cool. More common cookies, really? Whatever. Well, we're doing episode four, I guess, now. That's cool. Okay, let's continue this. Okay, so, back to my story without all these interruptions. Um, or story, theory, whatever you want to call it. So, yes. Dark and Ginger Squiggy takes the opportunity to fill the plan. The only issue now, the sort of plot hole with this is, what are the evil cookies' plans? What is licorice and pomegranate cookies and poison mushroom, what are their plans? Is, are they looking for an alternate solution to save Dark Enchantress Cookie? Are they trying to lead White Lily Cookie to her memories to make her run away? Maybe their whole plan is just trying to separate us, the heroes or whatever, Custard Cookie, Ginger Brave, all of them from Dark Enchantress Cookie. Maybe that's the goal. Or maybe it still is true that only Custard Cookie the Third can free Dark Enchantress Cookie, and they're still trying to take us towards there. Maybe they're still just leading us along with their evil, having us follow their trail. They see our plans, they're leading us towards our goal, because we want to find what they're taking us to. They want us to find the same thing we want to find. We just don't know what's going to happen when we find it. We don't know what's going to happen when we find the Dark Moonstone. When we find White Lily's memories, we don't know that Dark and Changes Cookie is at the end, the other end of the hallway or whatever. Which is quite literal, since Chapter 8 was literally called the hallway or something along those lines but yeah i think that's my personal theory those are the two the one that where dark and changes cookie is white lily cookie dark and changes cookie is the evil spirit of white lily cookie um do i have a third story i sort of do but i don't really have as much for it those two are my main options the main theories in my opinion are those two those are the best possibilities the most likely possibilities but let me know do you have any suggestions do you have any opinions? Maybe like, well, I agree with part of this, but I mean, this doesn't make sense because of this, this. Like, I might have missed something. I'm not saying I'm perfect about this. Maybe I'm missing something in chapter 9 or 10 that you want to tell me, or something in dark mode where you're like, well, actually, it's revealed that this was their plan all along or whatever. Let me know, but without that, just let me know your stories as well. If you have some theories, interesting characteristics, or future ideas for these videos, because I still have more dark mode to grind, and well, I want to have something interesting to talk about to make you guys interested as well as me while doing it, so, you know, let me know if you have any other ideas. This was pretty fun, though. I want to talk about this for a while. Um, so the last thing we're going to do today is quickly, because it's bothering me. We've been missing one compass for forever. We're spending the 200 gems. We're upgrading Cookie Castle. 11 hours wow so i mean that's cool cookie castle being upgraded thank you all for watching please consider giving the video a like if you enjoyed subscribe and join the purple elephant squad it makes my day it's super nice and i really do appreciate it let me know your theories your opinions on mine anything about it future ideas for videos i really appreciate it especially in this dark mode grinding phase i want to have some interesting things to theorize talk about things like that so let me know beyond that though have a wonderful day i'll see you all tomorrow bye